वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज सम न्यू स्टोरीज फॉर यू फर्स्ट वन इज फ्रॉम टेगराय नो दैट यस्टरडे सिंस यस्टरडे ऑर्थोडॉक्स फॉलोअर्स आर वेयरिंग ब्लैक एज निन्नवे फास्टिंग स्टार्टिड ऑन मंडे थ्री डे लॉन्ग फास्टिंग इट विल कंटिन्यू Uh, across Ethiopia, Orthodox followers are wearing black because the synod asked the followers to wear black as a protest. You can say against uh, government support for the splinter faction. What is happening in Tigray? Because yesterday some pictures were shared from Tigray that uh, allegedly some Orthodox followers uh, were shown standing in front of Aksum. uh monastery wearing black uh, are orthodox followers in tigray protesting like we are seeing uh, massive protests uh, at churches uh, by followers in amhara region secondly uh we know that uh, the church filed a case against romia regional government romia uh, special force romia forces and uh, federal police uh, with a court when will this case be decided or when will uh, an injunction be uh, issued uh, or a decision will be made about the injunction it is for you thirdly viewers uh, gorage gorage is on strike once again fourth strike on gorage zone on going since the announcement of uh, creation of a new regional state split uh, with snnpr and lastly viewers uh eritrea reportedly reserves are being relieved in eritrea we know that uh, when the third round of fighting erupted between tigray forces and ethiopian federal forces supported by eritrean military uh eritrean government recalled reserves uh former members of uh, their army uh who can be called uh, when there is national emergency when there is war like situation so they were called and uh, we uh, reported in some videos that they were fighting on some fronts where are they now are they being relieved uh, if they're being relieved what does it mean firstly viewers uh, first new story is about a tigray a tigray orthodox church did not completely split with the ethiopian orthodox church uh, but uh, we saw announcements last year uh, that uh, tigray was going to establish a patriarchate patriarch office uh, though tigray never elected a new patriarch tigray never formed a separate synod uh, abune matius the existing patriarch is a tigrayan reportedly and tigrayans uh, respect him a lot they say that he raised his voice for tigrayans but he was not allowed to speak so uh, uh, tigray clergy tigray orthodox leaders they support abu ne matias at the same time they oppose orthodox church as a whole as an institution they say this church bless the war on tigray they say that uh, other main uh, archbishops uh, they are pro ethiopian government anti tigray uh so so they have uh, similar concerns like the splinter faction has that holy synod is dominated by uh, amhara ethnic group members yesterday ninneve fasting started and uh, holy synod had asked all ideas followers orthodox followers to wear black uh, at ninneve uh, fasting uh, gatherings what happened in tigray firstly a picture was shared with me by several it was shared by several news outlets as well showing four men in black standing uh, in front of an orthodox uh, uh, worship place uh, in aksum you can see the picture on your screen it was shared by zihab ishaq it was shared by Siddhaji Chikol, who is a member of Baldiras party leader, uh, but now it 
what uh, is being reported these four are actually health inspectors they were uh, sent by ministry of health so they are not uh, residents of the area and i have not been able to find any pictures videos showing large gatherings at tegarai orthodox churches uh, with people wearing black yes nineve fasting could be uh, underwent tegrai as well like other parts of uh, ethiopia but uh, are we seeing a gathering in black like we are seeing massive gatherings in debark in gondar in amhara region other parts of ethiopia to uh, pro uh, uh, church uh, followers the pro abu nimatis faction uh, followers they are wearing black artists are sending their messages Tadi Afro released a message. We have not seen such campaign of wearing black in Tigray. I mean, though Tigray clergy, Tigray people respect Abu Nemathias, they have not uh, reconciled with the church. They still see the church as the one which blessed war, and that is why perhaps uh, at a meeting of Holy Synod a few days ago, it was discussed that church should apologize to Tigray. apology has not come no engagement between tegrai clergy and orthodox uh, holy synod from edis ababa that is why tegrayan so far are silent they are not supporting this call for wearing black i don't think they will protest on the 12th of february as well at the same time uh, they have not issued any public unequivocal statement in support of uh, a new supplanter faction based in uh, oromia secondly viewers uh, fell high court uh, is uh, a bench of fell high court is going to uh, make a decision about a case filed by orthodox church uh, last week the case is about taking over of orthodox churches uh, by uh bishops uh, in oromia the case is uh, filed uh, by an uh, orthodox church lawyer and uh, oromia regional government oromia police oromia fell police are parties to this case uh, church wants the court to pass orders that status quo before the start of this conflict uh, at oromia churches should be maintained and restored the case uh, will be heard on wednesday it was due to be heard on monday but now what we have learnt is that on wednesday we could see a decision a uh, provisional decision could be passed um, church wants provisional decision to stop taking over of churches uh, by the new faction in oromia though the new faction based in romia led by bonasarios uh, has taken control of most churches in romia so when the court will meet before that uh, i think uh, maybe entire romia churches uh, uh, would come under the control of this new faction let's see uh, thirdly was gurage is on strike once again fourth strike in gurage general strike all businesses closed transport suspended Gurage uh, people have been protesting. Uh, they have been struggling for years. They want a separate regional state like Tigray, Amhara, but Ethiopian government of PM Abi is uh, resisting the creation of regional states along ethnic lines. That is why South West State was created a few day, a few months ago, uh, more than a year ago. Then. Uh, voting was held yesterday in SNNPR for the creation of another regional state, but it wouldn't be a separate uh, Volaita or Gurage regional state. Rather, six zones and five special Waradas, uh, including Volaita, will be part of this new uh, regional state, and uh, Gurage is so far part of SNNPR. That is why. Uh, we have been seeing protests uh, in Volaita and Gurage. uh and a command post of ethiopian army was established as well in the areas to control law and order situation people are again on strike they are rejecting the referendum being held in snnpr they want a separate regional state like tigray amhara which does not seem to be happening lastly viewers eritrea is relieving its reserves that is what we have learned from eritrea 
Eritrea recalled its reserves of uh, military a few months ago when war broke out. The third round of fighting in August last year broke out between Tigray forces and Ethiopian Federal forces supported by Eritrean military. Back then, Eritrea made large scale preparations. It recalled uh, tens of thousands of reservists who were deployed to front lines. We reported, I think, in several videos that they were deployed to parts of Afar as well. Now, when uh, Eritrean military has withdrawn, where are reservists? They are being relieved. That is what we have learned. They are being discharged, they are being relieved, they are being sent back. So, it started a few days ago. This relieving of reservists started a few days ago. In times of war, reservists can be recalled by militaries and that is what happened, that is what happened in Eritrea. Now, when war is over, uh, these reservists are being relieved. Now, again, uh, a confirmation that Eritrea is uh, respecting the peace deal. It is not uh, undermining the peace deal. Uh, and it knows perhaps that there is no likelihood of any large-scale confrontation now. That is why it is leaving its service. Though yesterday Kata Chaurida said that uh, Eritrean military and Amhara forces were still in parts of Tegaraya. They had not withdrawn completely, but they could be in border areas and some of those areas could be disputed. So it means they have largely withdrawn from main parts of Tegaraya because in Aksom, Tegaraya forces, Tegaraya police entered uh, two days ago. It was confirmed by Tegaraya government officials. Aksom was under Eritrean ENDF control. So it means that uh, Eritrea has withdrawn, ENDF uh, has been uh, restricted to its camps. That is why Tigray police is taking charge. Uh, now, uh, issues would be about border, demarcation of border, uh, ongoing for uh, decades, still unresolved. But a confirmation that Eritrea is not in uh, war preparation mode. It knows that uh, no large scale confrontation is coming between. Eritrea and Ethiopia, Eritrea and Tigray. That is why reservists are being discharged, they are being relieved. Take fortune.